it's a pleasure to be here with uh, you. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, all the Airbus team and the Airbus community, um, the old friends and also the new friends that we just met during this trip, um, for uh, the support we have been receiving since we decided to go Airbus. That was in late 2016, as I was mentioned, before 2017. And, uh, uh, very exciting as well to be here uh, in Sweet Home, Alabama, you know, my first time. Uh, it took me almost a day to come here from Santiago, Chile, but, uh, <laughs> but we're here and appreciate the warmth uh, because we're in the middle of the winter. So, <laughs> more importantly, is uh, the warmth of your welcome, you know, being this hospitality state. Um, really glad to be uh, in this occasion. I'd like to thank also the authorities to come with us from the city, uh, the mayor and the council uh, to be here with us. Uh, it means uh, quite a bit to have you on our delivery. Um, so thank you very much as well. Uh, the press that also traveled from um, Argentina, uh, Peru, and Colombia. So I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that you're here already. Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> there you are. Um, so thank you for making the trip. It's very important as well to showcase to our communities the importance of uh, the just utilizing the highest technology available today, both for efficiency and uh, sustainability. Um, Eric from Griffin, uh, thank you for coming in. Where are you, Eric? Oh, my goodness. Here it is. Uh, thank you for your support. And of course, more importantly, our team. You know, my team, uh, the Rockstar team. Um, this is very special for us because we have received so far 25 aircraft, and uh, we've never been in a delivery before. So the CFO, Matt, and the CCO, Victor, and the um, Chief Operating Officer, um, Rodrigo, along with Bruno, Director of Fleet and Procurement, and the Vice President of Indigo Partners, the, the investment mm -hmm. fund behind Jetmark Baron, um, are here with that. It's not the first time, but it's all of us at the same time. Um, as you can imagine, starting on there, that takes a, long, a lot of uh, effort and a lot of time. And this is what we've been doing since 2017, and we really didn't have time to go up to come here. You know, we were just so busy all the time, so it's very special for us to finally be able to do so, and it will be here in the U.S. Um, of course, it's also very special for us because, it's the, as Arturo said, it's very symbolic. It's the first time a South American carrier will be uh, receiving and operating a U.S. made A320 in South America. So the Wacamayo, Wacamaya, Wara, Papagayo could be called in many different names, Pirate, I guess, um, will be flying very high. It will be registered in Chile, where it will operate for a few months. And as a preview, it will be one of the aircraft that will be sent to open a brand new domestic operations in Colombia. So it will become a symbol of um, operations in Colombia. It's very suitable, of course, because that bird um, is very emblematic of countries such as Colombia as much in Chile, you know, we got condors and, and, and other birds, but so um, it will become definitely a symbol that you recognize, not only because being the first, but also the flagship aircraft to start uh, in Colombia. Talking about JetSmart, just quickly for the uh, people that don't know, again, we were founded in 2016, one year after we started operations in Chile. Um, then two years, a little bit less than that, in April 2019, we started domestic operations in Argentina. That was the second AOC certificate. And then we have 17 aircraft and we have um, indeed signed a contract with Airbus uh, that currently is now for 126 aircraft and the pandemic hit. And then everything got uh, grounded, as we all know. Right? So two, three years that we had to go through that process in, in South America, um, it was very challenging. But we view it as an opportunity, and after the pandemic, we're in this sort of third stage of our life that we are growing pretty fast. Um, we had 17 aircraft in March 2020, and we had 17 aircraft back in July 2022. But from that moment to today, we're receiving a number 26, so we're growing at a rate that exceeds 70%. 20 million passengers have enjoyed flying smart. Um, we operate 70 routes in seven countries. Um, we plan to grow aggressively until the end of the year to reach 33 aircraft. And that will take us in 2024 to a target uh, volume passengers of 15 million passengers. 
which is a big jump considering that today we have already served 20 million. So um, again, a very dramatic moment for us and uh, looking forward to see the Guacamayo uh, be filled up, Victor, please, um, six times a day, flow on time, Rodrigo, and uh, you know, making more efficient and cost big um, matter. So um, we're very glad to be here again and thanks uh, everybody for this occasion. Thank you.